We've all been there. You pack a healthy lunch with some apple slices for your child, which make you feel like you've totally nailed this whole parenting thing. But when that lunchbox comes home, the apples are still there, looking sad, brown, and deeply unappealing. It's that moment every parent knows, the sheer frustration of your healthy efforts getting rejected because of a little browning. Well, that daily frustration ends today. We are on a mission to solve this problem for good. We're putting all the home remedies, internet hacks, and old wives' tales to the test, side by side, to find out what truly keeps apple slices fresh for hours. We are going to find the ultimate lunchbox hack. We're testing three different methods against a control slice that gets no help at all. Our tests are lemon water solution, salt water solution, honey water solution, and the control. For the experiment, we're using the same kind of apple for every test, and we're going to slice them to similar thickness. Let's prepare our solutions. Lemon water solution. The idea here is that the high acidity in lemon juice will slow down the browning. For this test, we're mixing one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice into one cup of water. Salt water solution. We're mixing a half teaspoon of salt to one cup of water. The idea here is that salt is a natural preservative, and the chloride ions they contain can inhibit the enzyme that causes browning. Where are you watching me from? Let's connect from around the world. Comment your city or country in the comments. Honey water. We're dissolving two tablespoons of honey in a cup of warm water. Honey has natural compounds peptides to be exact, that act as enzyme inhibitors, effectively telling the browning enzyme to chill out. Now that all the solutions have been prepared, we will slice up our apples and then soak them in the solutions for about five minutes. After they have been soaked for five minutes, I'll place two treated slices from each group on a labeled plate. The control had no treatment. I gave the salt water soaked apples a quick rinse with plain water to wash off any salty flavor. I'll also place two slices from each treatment in these labeled bags to simulate a real lunchbox. And now, the waiting game begins. We'll give them four hours, about the time from when you pack a lunch to when a kid finally eats it. 
If you're enjoying this video and will love to see more helpful tips like this, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything I upload. And also hit the like button, it's a free way of supporting us. I know you will enjoy being here with all the helpful tips I will be uploading. Four hours are up. The lunchbox timer has gone off. It's time for the big reveal. First, let's look at our control slices. There's some browning on the apple slices for sure. This is what we were trying to prevent. Now to the lemon water solution. The slices look much better than the control. There's just a little bit of brown. That acidic bath clearly did its job and slowed down the browning enzymes. Let's move on to the salt water solution. The salt water has worked magically. The slices looks the whitest and freshest of all we've seen so far. Finally, to the honey water solution. This one is another top performer. The slices are beautifully preserved, looking crisp and white. The honey seems to have created a super effective barrier. I decided to leave the slices for a few more hours and check them again after 10 hours. After 10 hours, the control had a deep, nasty brown coloration and was a little shriveled. The lemon had a little more browning this time, but the salt water and the honey water slices were still holding up. Based on looks alone, the salt water and honey water were the best. I gave them a taste. The salt water slice has a great texture, the crunch is perfect, and the taste is pure apple. There is absolutely no salty taste. It tastes exactly like a fresh, crisp, just-cut apple slice. It's almost unbelievable. That quick soak and rinse completely removed any hint of salt flavor, but the protection is still there. The honey water has an excellent texture. It is nice and crisp. The flavor is also pleasant. There's a subtle sweetness that complements the apple's natural taste perfectly. It doesn't scream honey, but it adds a lovely, mild note. This is a huge win on the flavor front. So I will say, for looks and taste, both the honey water and salt water methods were fantastic, preserving the natural apple flavor perfectly, with the honey just adding a hint of sweetness. Therefore, after all our rigorous testing, we have a clear winner. The single best way to keep apples from browning is the salt water solution. It's the most effective at keeping the color perfect and has pretty much zero impact on the flavor after a quick rinse. It's cheap, it's easy, and it delivers flawless results. So there you have it. The science is in, the tests are done, and the verdict is clear. If you want to pack apple slices that will still be crisp, white, and delicious by lunchtime, a simple five-minute soak in a light salt water solution is your new best friend. Just a half teaspoon of salt in a cup of water, a quick soak, a rinse, and you've solved the brown apple problem for good. Our runner-up, the honey water solution, is also a fantastic choice if you want to add a little touch of natural sweetness. What do you think? Have you tried any of these tricks? Do you have a secret weapon against browning that we didn't test? Let us know down in the comments below. We read every single one and are always looking for new kitchen problems to solve. And if there are any kitchen problems you would like us to solve, let us know in the comments. If you found this helpful and want to see more of these, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an experiment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.